What is going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video today. Remember, if you end up enjoying this video, all you gotta do is like this video and subscribe. I appreciate it. Now, in this video, we're going to try out Arachnid. Now, this particular Arachnid set is Choice Banded. I got a chance to see Arachnid in a Wi-Fi battle that I recently watched on YouTube. And I'm like, you know what, let's go ahead and train one of these things. So I ended up bringing up for a good Arachnid set, Choice Banded, and it's going to be working out really well. Now, to pair up with Arachnid, I've decided to lead off with Choice Specs Reuclus, and then we have a Dragon Dance Tyranitar, Reckless Staraptor, which is extremely hard. I don't want Staraptor to get all the glory. What I really want is to have a Reckoning have a time to shine. I will make sure my other Pokemon do not capture that kind of spotlight. Uh, Life Orb NK, which I haven't really used in NK in like forever, so that's great to see him in there. And then, of course, we have the Choice Banded Arachnid. And last but not least, Trivenant, a defensive Pokemon. So you see, my opponent, she has Lunala. And guys, it's hard to care what people are branding anymore. You can't control what they're branding. If they bring legendaries or any of the sort, I'll find a way. And if I lose the battle because of a legendary, so be it. I'll do it. I'll accept the challenge. So uh, besides Ronala, she has Mimikyu, Solazzle, Rabombi, uh, the Hilgo, and Tessarina. Now, Tessarina is the grass fighting Pokemon that has the Z-Power Bloom Doom. So, uh, everything else is looking okay. Even in the Hilgo and the Lunala. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and play this thing. Alright, enjoy. Alright, you guys. So, here is the match. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you to my opponent for challenging me, of course. Here is my Geneva, the Choice Spectre Nicholas, and my opponent starts off with Kisserina. I don't want to get hit by a drop kick here, so I took the time to switch out and go in the squadron, my Star Raptor. However, I get my attack lowered in the process, which actually ends up not mattering in the long run, because look how much a double edge does to the hill go coming in. That does a lot of damage, and this is a reckless Star Raptor. My goodness, that is a lot of damage. So I go for U turn there, it's not very effective, but I just gotta get some more chip damage in there. Go back into Geneva, expecting not necessarily Power Gem, I was expecting maybe Classic or Stealth Rock. One of those options there, but not. not Power gem. So I go for Psyshock, someone is going to get killed, and it's going to be Rimbombi. And uh, at the time, I wasn't sure if that was his Z Power Mon, but it is not, so, you know, because without Z Power uh, Savage Spin Out, it's pretty useless, Rimbombi is. So I go back in the squadron, I see Lanala out, and I'm like, okay, she's gonna go for the Phantom Force. It's not going to affect me, as you see there. And then he goes for Wide Guard. I'm not really sure why it's a doubles move, and we're having a single battle, so. Not sure what's going on there. And because he did that, I actually get the Shadow Shield broken. Basically for free, and I will gladly take it. The second Brave Bird that I go for is actually going to finish off Lunala. So that is awesome. I do take a lot of recoil as a result, but I'll take it anytime. I go for another Brave Bird. Man, Squadron is doing a lot of work. I don't want him to take away the spotlight, obviously. We want to break the 
the disguise ability that Mimikyu has, and he goes for Mimic, and I'm just like, why did you do that? Because it's not going to save you. You should have gone with the fire off. Although, if you miss it, then okay. But you, you have a higher chance of hitting than missing. So, all that aside, we get a double gown. Best types of gowns, of course. And this is a great opportunity to try out a Raquinig. I know Power Gem is super effective, but a Raquinig is actually really bulky. Has a lot of HP. And I go for a choice banded liquidation, and that is going to finish off the hell go quite easily there. However, this Kisarina has the Z power. It's going to be Bloom Doom, and that is going to finish me off. I like the animation of Bloom Doom, and it's going to just be like that, and take all that to the face, I end up surviving with 5 HP, which is amazing. I know liquidation, I can only go for that move because I am locked in on that, it is going to do half HP to the Pokemon that resisted it. So that's the power of a record egg. And I'm really happy I got a chance to train one of these. But anyway, so a record egg is done for the battle, unfortunately. He did pretty good though. I go in the NK. I just go for the flamethrower. I could have gone with a calm mind, but eh, might as well make the safe play. Even if Salazzle wants to come in, I can always switch out and go in with Chiron. You can't really do much to Chiron's car anyway, and that will pretty much give me a free opportunity to set up. Uh, I do have a Lumbarian tech, so even though he's going for Toxic, I'm going to pretty much dodge it. I'm like, yeah, I got it for free. But Salazzle so is going to outspeed me because Terra Car is pretty slow. So I I had that great moment there and then I'm back to being poisoned. I figured he might do that again, so I went for the Dragon Dance. Get my attack and speed boosting up a little bit. Why not? Uh, even though at plus one, I can still not outspeed Salazzle. Because you see here, he goes for Dragon Pulse. Still outspeeds me because Salazzle is pretty fast. And you see, just with the Sandstorm being up and all, no damage to Karakar. That, that's pretty awesome. Now at plus two, at plus two, I will outspeed Salazzle. And I'm going to go with a Stone Edge. Now it's just got kind of poison because I have to take more and more HP away every turn, and I really don't want to get that. The critical hit did not matter because I, for one thing, have a attack modifier at plus two. That should be enough. I could have gone with another Stone Edge, but I didn't want to miss. And I don't think I have Crunch on that set either, so I go in Trevor Knight because I haven't used him in this battle, so uh, Voodoo, you know, it's his attacking power is lowered again, because that's what Tropkick does, you guys. And he goes for Leaf Storm. So clearly this Pokemon does not have anything for a lot of my Pokemon there. The way I said that, that was weird. Uh, so I go for Shadow Claw at minus one. Not going to do much, because the modifier is decreased. So I'm like, gosh darn it, now we have to switch out again. I'm going to go back into NK. I should have done that initially, but I didn't, so that is going to be the match, you guys, because Serena is the last Pokemon. So if we had gone and play a lot sooner, this match would have been over. But I just wanted to try out Trevenant, but eh, didn't work out. So that is the match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Arachnid is pretty good. I will try him out in the next video, I think try out different partners and whatnot, uh, but otherwise, I will get back to posting more videos for you all, and I hope you all look forward to that. Have a great week and a great day. All right, goodbye, Terrence.